I'm, does my face really look like that? Does it look like I... Looks like I got stung by a bee. What is that freaking noise? There's something rattling in my car and I can't figure out what it is. Is there anything worse than that? What is up? Dude, seriously, I look like I aged in dog years. Oh, I'll tell you what. Today we're going to talk about my testes. Turbski testes. Hey gang, it is a beautiful foggy Sunday morning. And hey gang's kind of my new thing. I'm trying to figure out like, whoa what do we want to do for like intros and uh you know you want to be consistent so i think my thing's gonna be hey gang so hey gang foggy sunday morning boost weather's upon us and we are heading to the dyno we are putting kill face on the rollers today i'm gonna to be completely transparent uh and logan kind of called me out on it i have had almost no motivation to do anything with regards to racing this year COVID has destroyed opportunities to go racing left and right. It's been brutally hot, but now boost weather is upon us. That's my favorite season. So I'm getting a little bit excited. And shout out to Robert Young and Force Performance. He's really got me motivated. Robert sent over a pair of his 88 millimeter turbo variants, and we're going to strap them both onto the car today and see how they stack up against each other. I had planned on getting another turbo to throw into the mix from a competitor, but unfortunately that plan didn't come to fruition. See, I use big words. I'm real good at talking and stuff. So we're gonna head over to my buddy Paul Powell's shop and strap Killface on the rollers and see what it makes. I've set some kind of lofty goals for myself, but I don't wanna jinx it, so I'm gonna keep that up in my dome piece. And yeah, well, we'll pick this up when we get there. Because I gotta go look at my GPS and navigate now. Bye. image stabilization on this camera because my nerves are shot. I had a granola bar for breakfast and like two big ass cups of coffee, but we're here at Paul Powell's. We got a little bit of everything. Shout out to Pro City Coyote. Shout out to Papa Smurf, TJ Turner, the homie. Paul has done a little bit of everything. Drag racing. He runs out at Bonneville. And you can see there's a gang of cars out here. <laughs> this guy's been doing it for a long time, so I'm pretty confident. We're letting the car warm up. We're doing a little bit of adjustments on the transmission. First up, the Zona Rotor 88. report so far 4.7 pounds of boost and we're at 512 horsepower we basically did seven pulls there on wastegate pressure alone just to kind of get the uh, air fuel kind of dialed in and the timing right and what I have learned so far is I'm a terrible tuner and Paul has shown me the light and uh, I'm excited we're letting the car cool down right now we're gonna get back on it in about 15 minutes or so and start putting some pressure and see what this schoolie boy will actually make. Nerves and anxiety still at all time high. Feeling better about this stuff. Twenty-three horsepower so far on the first power pull, and only eighteen pounds of boost. <laughs> I added ten psi dome pressure on the thing, and when I saw nine hundred pop up there, I literally almost shit my pants. But I should have been wearing pants because you can't shit your pants if you're naked. So we're letting the car cool down right now. We're gonna put another five pounds on the dome, and we're gonna crack the four-digit threshold today for sure. 
I don't know how much further north we're gonna get with that. And then, once we're happy with it, we'll shove the leaf blower on this thing and start cooling it down. Say hi to the bearded wonder. What's up? So, my anxiety is starting to come down a little bit. Feeling a little better about this. He's got that beautiful bald head over there. Is the man's a damn genius. I've learned more in the past hour about tuning than I thought I knew a little bit. I realized real quickly, I don't know shit. number that was on 25 ish pounds of boost this piece of 25 kind of tapers off down to 24 and we're stopping there the converter seems to not be very happy with us right now because as the power goes up you can see the mile an hour on the dyno goes down a little bit so we are putting the leaf blower on the turbo and then we're going to swap out and put on the hd88 from force performance and see how it compares to their big dog we're gonna leave everything the same. We are literally changing the turbos, nothing on the tune. Yes, that gasket is still there. The as of yet unreleased Force Performance HD88. This is their lower model line of turb skis, and we're gonna see how this thing compares to the Zona Rotor Biggin. We have changed nothing. We're putting 30 PSI dome pressure. The car just got done making 1080 to the tire. So we're gonna see how Little Boy here stacks up. Yeehaw, let's do it. After a long, arduous day on the dyno, flogging the bejesus out of this thing. 1072 is the final number. Whoa, 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 hold up. Okay, let's put a cap on this. I don't want to end the episode like that because I want to talk about a few things from this test and then the week after. So 1080 was the final number. Now, I want to throw out there, there was a 1092 pull in there and that was with the HD88 turbo, but the car was substantially cooler. That was the first pull after we changed the turbo. So the carbon's sitting for about 20 to 30 minutes, cooling down, all the temperatures coming down. So cooler air and everything, of course, it's gonna make more power. So when we back that pull up, like 1092, let's confirm that this isn't a fluke and it's not attributed to the temperature immediately after. I don't even think we shut the car off. It made 1072. So once the temperature's all equaled out and stabilized, we realized that at this power level, on this dyno, on this day, on this car, at 25 pounds of boost, these turbos are neck and neck. So I thought. Now when I came home, I started sitting out on the couch and going through the actual data and looking at the layovers between these two turbos, I saw something pretty interesting. And Robert from Force Performance and I discussed these results as well. This turbo, the FP400, the Zona Rotor Made in America badass turbo, it's about 200 to 300 RPM quicker spool time 
and about 2-3 PSI ahead of the HD88. And the outlet, the compressor outlet temperatures are a little bit cooler and the back pressure is a little bit lower. So this turbo is shining at those lower boost levels. It's happier to spool down low. That's going to get you on the trans brake quicker. And then when your boost ramp wants to come in, you want to pin the gate shut going down the track, this turbo is going to be one to light off significantly quicker than the HD88. So there is a difference between these two turbos. And I'm pretty sure that when we start turning the boost up on this thing to go above that 25 PSI mark and above that 1100-ish wheel horsepower level, this turbo is really going to start to shine. We're not done leaning on this combination yet. We just didn't want to do it on the dyno and we we're a little concerned about the converter. So speaking of converter, we're going to get it fixed. We're going to get back out. 2020 race season is not over. It's not over yet. We got a lot of stuff we got to do. Unfortunately, I'm on the East Coast, so we can race pretty much year round down here. So head over to clapdot.com slash store. We got new shirts. And they're starting to ship today. Got new stickers coming out today. Uh, and yeah, all kinds of stuff. So support us, support the companies that support me on this car. I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody. Force Performance Turbochargers, Brian Tooley Racing, clapped out. We kind of support ourselves here. K1 Race Gear, Holly EFI, Curry Enterprises for the bitching rear end. And that's it. Clapped out.com slash store. I'm out. Peace.